In the criminal justice system, Ed Concanon and Judge Sweeney attempt to settle a case for the archdiocese outside of court. Frank Galvin, a low-life drunken lawyer, is determined to seek true justice for his client and redeem his good name. This is their story. Reminds you of old times, doesn't it? I can't believe you still have it, man. Oh, of course. Reminds you of the time to kick your ass in golf, though. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I have to take you up on a gentleman's wager at the next golf tournament. You know I'm always up for it. So it's some more ass kicking of yours. <laughs> Sounded weird, but you know. You get what I'm saying. I do. <laughs> You're late, Mr. Galvin. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Why is that? Uh, I was I was held up. <clears throat> Ed! Ed Cannon. Uh, Frank Galvin, we've, we've met before. Oh. Alright. Let's do some business. They tell me that no bargain was ever completed quickly other than when both parties really cared to make a deal. Now, have you boys tried to resolve your little difficulty? Because that certainly would save the Commonwealth a lot of time and bother. I mean, this is a very complicated case, Your Honor. I'm sure it is, Frank, and let me tell you something. If we find it so complex, how in the hell are you going to make a jury understand it? See my point? Now let's talk a minute. Frank, what would you and your client take right now, this very minute, to just walk out of here and let this whole damn thing drop? My client, my client can't walk, Your Honor. I know full well she can't, Frank. You see the Padre on your way out and he'll punch your ticket. Follow me. I'm trying to help you. <clears throat> Your Honor, Bishop and his archdiocese has offered him two hundred ten thousand dollars. Huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. They don't want to settle at a price. They want to settle him in court. They want their vindication, and I agree with them. But as of today, the offer stands. Before we make this court public, and only for today. If I walk out that door, it's withdrawn. I hope you can understand that, Mr. Gavin. It's the only way. We are trying this case. That's it. Come on, guys, life is too short. Tell me if you're playing chicken or you mean it. Frank, I don't think I'm talking out of school, but I just heard someone offer you 200 grand, and that's a lot of money. And if I may say, you haven't got the best of records. Yeah, well, things change. It's true. Sometimes they change. Sometimes they don't. Now, I remember back to when you were disbarred. I wasn't, I wasn't disbarred, they dropped the and charge. And it seems to me, a fellow's trying to come back, he'd take this settlement and get a record for himself. I myself would take it and run like a thief. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Do we have a date set? Next Thursday. Good. See you boys in court. Thursday. I've been doing this, man. Take you out to lunch. So, guys.